Hello everyone, we have a lot of news for today's video. Listen to this right here. US Federal Reserve officially considering CBDC to improve existing payment systems. Oh, isn't this interesting, right? Considering the central bank digital currencies, I'm pretty sure they have it already considered. If you go all the way down here, the bank said that it was the right time to consider a CBDC because technological advancements had come far enough for it to improve upon existing systems. Now, the central bank has talked about CBDCs before and in initial studies, but this is the most significant announcement that it has made so far. The authority notes that it has made no decisions on whether to pursue or implement a CBDC. I'm pretty sure they will guys, right? Even though they're considering, quote unquote, considering, I'm pretty sure all the plans are done behind the scenes, right? But, but that it has been exploring the benefits and risks associated with it from a variety of angles, including through technological research and experimentation. It also continues to ask for public commentary on the matter. As we see right here from the Federal Reserve, they tweeted out, why is the Federal Reserve considering a CBDC now? The Federal Reserve also posted a set of FAQs on the CBDC matter, explaining why the central bank was considering it now. The reasoning is that it wants to use technological advances like digital wallets, mobile payment apps, and cryptocurrencies and stable coins to improve on an already safe and efficient US domestic payment system. Now what can we get out of this statement right here? It's basically innovation, right? Adoption of a new system is literally upcoming from the old to the new, basically. Now, we see a few more things. Look at this, guys. Look at these narratives, guys, right? And then protection against criminal activity. All of those are just narratives and agendas. It also points to its paper on it's US dollar CBDC, right? Implementing a digital dollar. If carried out, it would join several other countries in their endeavors, including China, India, and Japan. It's likely going to be a few years before the US releases anything concrete, but this increasingly appears to be the future ahead of the country or for the country. Again, guys, we see all these other countries coming into play. When will the US? Perhaps when there is a catalyst for them to come in, right? Not just out of nowhere, but they need they need to blame something for them to implement some, some other thing, right? So that's what's going to happen, in my humble opinion. There's going to be an event that triggers something and they need to implement. They need to, quote unquote, need to implement CBDCs. Now, look at this from Forbes. Meet Ripple and XRP cryptocurrency for banks, right? You guys can check this out. If you go all the way down here, though. Ripple is a payment settlement system and currency exchange network that can process transactions around the world. The idea is that Ripple serves as a trusted agent in between two parties in a transaction as the network can quickly confirm that the exchange went through properly. Ripple was designed from the very beginning to, es to essentially be a replacement for SWIFT. Isn't this interesting? A leading money transfer network or to otherwise replace the settlement layer between major financial institutions hmm and you guys can see which is the fee right the fee is is like so small it's it's basically quote unquote free ripple advantages ripple settlements very low fees versatile exchange network used by large financial institutions as we see right there right by the way guys ripple disadvantages highly centralized it isn't centralized, guys, right? And we see right here, recent regulatory action against XRP. Now, the SEC case is definitely, uh, the case is about to conclude very soon, right? There's going to be a resolution coming out very soon, guys. So I'm not even too sure what he's talking about over here. Right? All the pros with Ripple, guys. Now, what is Bitcoin doing? Nothing, right? The proof is right there, but most still doesn't seem to see it. Now, this is a very interesting video from Digital Asset Investor, Jim Rickers, November 3rd, 2018. Do you see XRP, XLM, and gold? <clears throat> so here's a, here's a preview of the future. When I say the future, everything on the slide is already in development or working. So this is not science fiction. This is not something for the 22nd century. It's happening now. 
Um, basically, China and Russia are building their own cryptocurrency system. Now, when I say cryptocurrency, don't go out and buy Bitcoin. I, I don't like Bitcoin. I think it's the worst thing you could do. Uh, but, they, but the world of cryptocurrencies is not limited to Bitcoin. There are actually over 2,000 cryptocurrencies, some of them quite small. But you could, invent, you could go home tonight with the right software, you could invent your own cryptocurrency called the, uh, the Icon Coin. Um, but, uh, but Russia and China are developing their own. Uh, what used to be called the blockchain, uh, today people call it the distributed ledger. So this is distributed ledger technology. Uh, they're developing their own coin or token. It'll be heavily encrypted, military-grade encryption, uh, with their own pipes, meaning their own kind of private internet. And imagine an economy that looks like the following. So Iran um, sells oil to China. North Korea sells weapons to Iran. China sells infrastructure to Russia. Russia sells weapons to China. Russians take a vacation in Turkey, because it's a pretty country, uh, and so on. So you, I've just described the whole trading network. And imagine it's all done with this cryptocurrency. So all we do is keep score. And you can keep score with baseball cards, bottle caps. I mean, it doesn't have to be money to keep score. It's just a way of keeping track. Peg to the SDR, the special drawing right, and we'll talk a little bit more about that, managed through a, a cryptocurrency system that's encrypted uh, and um, uh, secure. And then every now and then, once a month, once a quarter, once a year, we look at the chits and we decide who owes what to whom, and we settle up in gold. And we put the gold on a plane, fly it over to the other guy, and there it is. Um, so this is a combination of a 21st cryptocurrency system with a 19th century or 5th century BC, if you like, gold system. You're combining the two, the oldest form of money and the newest form of money. Notice what's missing in everything I just described. No dollars. There's no dollar in that system. Uh, the SDR, the cryptocurrency, gold, the ledger, the trading network, all play a role, but there's no dollar in that system. That's what we're moving up towards. Wow, again, guys, do we see how the world is about to change forever, right? If we look back in history, there has been new systems appearing after the old one burns, right? Every single time. Will this time be different? No, there's going to just, they're, they're just going to prop up this new system for the people, right? Now, Stefan is sweet out. I think I know when Ripple and SEC met together yesterday. At that meeting, some were probably a bit distracted with crypto trading on their phone. Now, guys, look at this. Remember that XRP just, like, pumped out of nowhere suddenly? Isn't this interesting, right? And it always happens at night, which I talked about on my second channel, but that, but YouTube took it down or whatnot. But I'm pretty sure XRP usually, not every time, but usually pumps at nighttime. And as we see right here, which someone can say, quote unquote, overnight, right? But as we see the price did pump, what do you think of that theory, right? You guys can see the time and date. April 14, 2022. Sunshine Act Notice. You guys can see April 14, 2022. Institution and Settlement of Injunctive Actions. So, again, there's probably some inside trading going on. Definitely is, guys. I mean, well, we definitely don't know 100%, but I do feel like there's definitely, like, these people, obviously, if, they, if you have the info, you might make a move on it, right? You might go ahead and buy here, sell there, do your things, and then make a lot of money. Because Gary Gensler is worth over $100 million, and then Jay Clayton is worth $50 million. Isn't this interesting, huh, guys? It very, it very much is. Look at this. XRP got $2.8 billion pumped in last night. Market makers getting ready for the close of the SEC case, right? Correlating with this right here. With that pump, this right here. Isn't this interesting, huh, guys? Wow. Again, it, it does very... It does, it does seem like the SEC case will be concluding very soon, guys, in my humble opinion. So if this is true then get ready guys because we are very near and very close. Wow, wow, wow. But anyways, that's so thank you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have a place to have a life, subscribe to be on my channel. Thank you guys. See ya.